hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i basically uh, build out a application in nextjs which is a mini pdf editor which allows two operations if you want to merge multiple pdf documents it allows you to do that and here you need to select your pdf documents whichever pdf documents you want to merge let me select any other two documents let me select this document and this document as i select these two documents it will show you the live preview of these two documents which you are merging so the first document actually contains uh, three four four pages and the second document contains three pages so four plus three and now the if i click the button right here merge pdf it will actually merge concatenate or join these two pdf documents and now the output will be seven pages so click on this button and uh, you will basically see it is showing to me that PDF document is encrypted. So you just need to make sure that you don't select a document which contains a password. You don't need to select those documents. So if you don't have password, you only need to select those documents which are not password protected. And now you can see that this document contained 10 pages. This also contained 10 pages. So let me click on merge. So now you will see both these PDF documents have been successfully merged and now it contains 20 pages. So both these documents have been successfully merged out there. So it's a mini PDF editor guys which I actually developed inside uh, Next.js and we actually use the JS PDF and PDF lib library for doing this process. And uh, we also have the second feature which is compress PDF and here you need to select any PDF file that you want to do. So this is, you can see it is having five megabytes file. So it contains 10 pages. Let me see if I click compress. So how much compression it will do. So you will see it will compress your PDF file and it will download this as a zip file. So exactly it will contain 20 pages, but it has now uh, compressed the size of it slightly compressed so it depends upon if uh, which whichever images are present inside your uh, pdf document it depends upon document to document if your document is compressible then it will compress the size and do this it's a mini application you can deploy this on the server side uh, on your own server it works 100 percent on the client side no uh, server side code is there so we have developed this inside Next.js. this is actually the directory structure if you need the source code i have given the link in the description you can directly purchase the full source code after you purchase the source code you will actually get a zip file and then you can ex actually extract the content of the zip file this will actually contain this directory structure and here this is the dependency structure of my project guys so we are using this uh, jspdf library which is the automation uh, open source library in javascript to actually make pdf documents and we are using pdf lib which is actually a library responsible for if you want to modify the content of pdf document or actually want to merge compress anything you can do this with live with this library we are also using PDF merger JS, PDF viewer to actually show the live preview of the document. So quite a few libraries that we are using for the project. So first of all, we are actually using JS PDF. If you see, uh, it's a open source library for building uh, PDF documents in JavaScript. Then we are actually using uh, uh, PDF lib. This is also a library for modifying creating pdf documents in javascript it, it can also be used in a server side environment as well as a node.js package we are actually using it as a node package inside our next.js application and this is actually the package pdf merger we are using it to actually merge the two documents together just need to go to npm.js search for this package so we are actually using this package it merges multiple PDF documents or parts of them into a new document. 59,000 weekly downloads, a very good uh, package. So we are using it and uh, we are also using PDF Viewer, React PDF Viewer. There is two packages out there. First is PDF Viewer. So it basically using uh, Mozilla PDF JS in the background, this package. And for the react 
specifically next years we are using this package react pdf viewer which actually encapsulates react js code for exactly doing this purpose we are using this package as well so i basically showed you all the dependencies that we used guys and uh, js zip is actually the library for compressing everything into a zip file to actually download it as an attachment so these are dev scripts after you actually extract the content after you make the payment you will actually get a zip file you need to extract the content and after that you just need to install the modules first of all npmi so it will install all the modules and after you do this i have already done that so just start your npm run dev this will start the development server on local host 3000 you will see that and uh, just open this you will open this simply select your pdf files here you can select as many pdf documents as you want you can see three three files are there three pdf documents simply click merge pdf it will merge all the three documents together so it's a very good application guys it runs to the browser it uses next.js which is a very good framework very good server side uh, full stack framework for building applications and uh, also we have compressed pdf you can select as many image pdf files three pdf files that you selected compress and it will basically download a compressed file here and it will now contain your PDF document. So it will compress the size and compress it as a zip file. So if you are interested guys in this project, the link is given in the description and let me walk you through with the code guys. So we have different components available inside of a next year's application. We have the footer, we have the layout inside the nav bar. We have the nav bar as well, which you see basically in the lab bar we are actually having these two this is merge pdf we have this link which goes to slash merge and then we have the slash compress which compress pdf so that you see right here in the navigation bar that you when you launch the application these two things are appearing right here then we got our different this one this is actual file which allows you to compress the file and we are using this here pdf lib from this actual we are using pdf document method and uh, we are using some states here so we are basically using two state variables selected file set we are show also showing the live preview for this we are actually using use state for managing the state for managing the data whichever file user selects and actually we are showing the live preview by using these two state use state hook and then in the compressing if you want to compress the pdf file we are actually first of all loading the pdf file by using this load method that you see right here passing the array buffer so first of all we actually convert our pdf document that the user selects into a array buffer and then basically we pass it to the pdf lib by using this load method we actually pass this file data and then we actually save that into the bytes so we basically compress it by using js zip type is equal to blob right here if you see so this is actual thing right here and same goes with the merging functionality as well so here we are actually using pdf merger if you see so for this we are actually using four state variables which is merged pdf url file set files dragging set dragging and here also we are showing the live preview <clears throat> so again we are using the same object pdf document a very awesome application guys you should definitely invest time and uh, purchase the source code the link is given you can basically select as many files will show you the live preview like this it will merge automatically the speed of the process that you see guys it will efficiently merge the files and in no time as you see guys next.js is very good framework 
it's a top framework and please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well guys and also you can check out my website freemediatools.com guys so here i have a lot of tools available free tools where you can try out this is my own website i developed this website using ffmpg and uh, library so lots of tools that you can try out if you have any face any problem so related to video audio and pdf any online tool this is my free media tools dot com website so this is actual project guys and if you are interested the link is given and uh, you will actually get this source code and if you see next chairs we are actually using this framework if you don't know about next chairs guys it's the react framework for the web and before you know next chairs you should have a very basic thorough understanding of react chairs before you dive into next chairs it says react is the parent of next chairs next chairs is the children so before knowing next chairs you should have basic fundamentals of react chairs something as props what are props what are components so these are some of the things that you should previously know before you dive into this application but as a beginner i basically developed this application as a beginner you should be able to understand the code if you are a beginner in next year next year i designed this application in such a way and if you st still face any issue i you can contact me at my email address and phone number i can help you so you can comment which pr project that i should make in the future related to pdf processing or video processing i can make that project so these are different files if you see here and so pdf bytes so array buffer that you see it loads here compressed zip it converts into array a compressed zip we we download handle file change event that you see right here so e target files this is a thing here and for the interface that we developed right here guys if you see the interface we are actually using tailwind css for the classes if you see the interface that we used for this application we are using tailwind css for all the things that we are displaying for the live preview this is actual interface that you see we are using tailwind css to show the grid like structure whenever you do this so you can see that we have basically the scroll bar available so it can take as many files as you want it can take at one time you can merge thousands of files in the browser thousand you can compress thousands of files in the browser itself it's a great alternative to a paid software that you will use adobe acrobat you just don't need to you can use this application just make sure that your uh, pdf file is not encrypted with the password in that case it will not work this error message will come that is input document is encrypted so just make sure that your pdf file is not encrypted make sure it is de decrypted not encrypted and uh, this is the application thank you very much guys for watching this and please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video